All right, so I will just continue from the previous class. So last time we've created the form from the HTML and then we've submitted the form into the process file. So we've got that's the HTML form, just to remind you, that's all the labels and you've got the submitting button. And then the action of that is process.php. That's mean when you pressed um, add new aliens, that's the, the next PHP that is going to be executed as the process file. And in the process files, that's what we've done uh, next. We've created a PHP file. We've defined those variables. So the user is the root. So we don't have a specific user that we're using. We're just using from the root. A server name is the local host. A database name. So there's the name of the variable. This is the name of the database. So if I go now to the local host and go, can you see that's the database name that I'm using? And it says two because I, I've got two tables in it. Now, um, and then um, pass mean you just connect with no password. Now, we performed a connection. So, again, this is a variable called connection. And this is the SQL statement that asks you to connect. Um, server name, you're giving a server name. You're giving the user. You're giving the pass. Uh, in this case, there's no password. If you have a password, then you will need to put a password over here. And that's the database name that we've already assigned to. We have to check. So if it's not, we need to know is if it's connected or not connected. So we said if it is not connected, because that would turn it true. Um, so if it's not connected, if it's not connected, then it will say die. Uh, and then give you the message error. Why it's not connected? Else, if it's connected, echo mean you just um, you just need to print a statement called you are connected. Now we're given given a try before we continue. So I've got this filled it out, and I say add a new file, and you can see the only message you are connected. So now I've performed a connection with the database. Now next bit that I'm going to create uh, or I did define my variables. Now, if I look into, I'm going to use the table aliens. So the table aliens, I've got those variables. So I have to, those fields. So I have to define all those fields. Um, and where do I get those fields from? Remember when we created the form, every field or if, if in the my form, it will, it has an ID and it has a name. So we're going to use those names. To, because when we press submit, all those values that we've entered into those textbox will be stored under those names. And then we need those values. So I'm going to create um, the first one is so just looking at the form. So I've got name, I've got shape, I've got color, I've got eyes, I've got mouth, arms. And I've got ears. So that's the name of it. So I'm going to create each one of these in here. So I've got name. And in the name, you will say um, underscore host. Okay, so I'm going to create now the variables for every field in my form. So all those forms got names in here. So I'm going to create a variable for each one of those. Form. So the first one is name and then dollar sign. That dollar sign represents form and post. <coughs> and then in here, I will give it a name. That's the name of my form. And then the next one, we will do the color. And then again, underscore post. And then I've got color. Sorry, that needs to be in square brackets. And don't forget your semicolon. So I'm just going to copy and paste all of these to create my names. So now you can see I've created all my um, variables, name, shape, color, arms, eyes, and ears, and the mouse. Now, I need, after I performed a connection, now I need to create my, a variable that has the SQL statements. 
So it's up to you what you're going to call that. Sir. So I'm going to call it SQL. That's the variable name. It's a string. So insert um, into, and I've got that table name. So the table name, you can get it from them. You as so the database, so the database and the table name that I'm going to insert to is this one here. So it's A L I E N S. I just always like to office just to get the spelling right because it's a huge problem if you get the score spelling incorrect. So now insert into. So I've got insert and into. Um, the values now I'm gonna write the fields name so the fields names in here without uh, I don't need the ID because as we've decided if we've set up our database We said the ID is going to be auto increments. So I'm just gonna write it exactly as it is arms eyes So you've noticed that I haven't put any Ears so those are the values. Now, next word is called values. So I give all those field names, okay, or the column names. Now I'm going to put the values. Now in the values, you need to put question mark, and then you're going to put your variables now. So if I go here for every one of these, I'm going to put the variable. I'm just going to put a new line. It's easier for me to see them. So you can see I've got name. I don't need that one anymore. So I've got name for the variable uh, for the field name. I want obviously the, vi the variable name. And now for the um, shape, the variable shape, you can see that you get them because it's been defined already. And then for the next one is the variable color. And for the next one is the variable arms. For the next one is the variable eyes. So you can see I've written my SQL statement as a string and it's inserted into that's the table name. And those all the col columns names in the table is exactly as they are in the same or order. And those are the values. And now I've just chosen the variable. So, for example, for the field, for the column name, I will put the field name and so on. Okay, so, the next bit now, we're going to execute that SQL. So, I'm just going to put a variable called result. And I'm going to say my SQL query. And then in the query, I'm going to send to it um, the SQL variable. And I'm going to send to it the connect variable as well. And don't forget your semicolons at the end. Of okay, now the next thing is we have to check that the query is um, correct. So if, if the query executed correctly, that's what it means. Um, just print a new aliens have been added else otherwise just say not connected and you just need to print it will print out the error exactly what happened on SQL so that line is quite useful because it's quite often you can miss a comma or a dollar sign or anything but that will tell you where what's wrong so it's quite important that you raise uh, check your errors now, the last thing that I will add in here is I'm going to request a database. You probably don't need it in yours if you have one database, but I have multiples. So I said my MySQL underscore select underscore database. So this is the commands already there. And I give it the database name. Remember that variable. We've already defined it right at the beginning. And then um, send the connections. Now I save everything in here. And now if we go and try it. So I've got all this information. I haven't ticked the ears. So I'll just show you if I tick it or untick it. So if I ticked the ears and if I say add a new aliens, it says connected aliens added. And if I go to the database and refresh it, I've 
go to the aliens in here. Browse. And then I, you can see I've got three um, aliens with WM because I'm just going back and forth. Now, I will do it now without unticking. So I'm just going to name it differently. So I'm just going to name it Adam, for example. And I did not tick the ease. Um, remember on the database when we created our database, I'm going to add an aliens now with the ease be ticked. So you say add aliens and save adding is correctly. So you can see now I don't have an Adam in my database. Now but if I refresh and I go browse, I do have an aliens called Adam. Now I'm going to do exactly the same. I'll change the name, so I'm just going to call it um, Zach, and I'm going to untick this ear, because when we created our database, we said this ear needs to have a value, so it can't be nil. Now, if I untick it and add an aliens, it does throw an error, it says undefined index, but it's still adding an aliens, so that doesn't affect, so if you go in here, and if I browse it, you will see that Zach Aliens has been added, but I've got and I've got the zero value because the default value. But it's still throw an error because I'm trying to access and a variable that has no value. Now to fix that problem, because it's it's so to fix that problem, when you defined your index, you just say I sist and do that one in here. And now if I save it, okay, before I've got an E, yeah, so because it's a function, so um, I just save it. Now if I go back to the file and try now, so I went back to the file now and I try now, I'm going to add another one, so let's say Zach2, and then I'm not going to take up the area aliens, and now if I add a new, you will see it's not giving me any errors. If I check now, um, browse, and you can see Z2 has been added correctly. Thank you for watching.